One day, Rosie was at the sheds near Timothy Station. She was talking to Toby and Timothy. She was telling them where she tried to help James when he became a runaway. And then, James went faster down the line and he went past me and I tried to help him. And then, he crashed right into the back of Timothy's sheds and he crashed into it! Wow, that was crazy. Yeah, I was. And I think I felt sorry for him. I could have tried to help him. And I felt messed up for not helping him. But you did almost tried. And Timoshets was fixed after that. Most of it was fine, right? And you don't have to be sorry. It's not your fault, Rosie. And I know you almost tried. Yeah, I think so, Timothy. But I felt messed up for everything that happened. I could have just tried to help James. Don't worry. It was the part where he got jealous that caused it. But he felt sorry and I'm sure he knows you almost tried. Yeah, you know, Edward has the same thing a bit like it. And Toby explained everything. And then... Edward went down the main line with James when James became a runaway. The shunter's pole had pulled the thing and got it onto James's buffer and James's driver went into his cab and put on the brakes and James and Edward stopped at Cross Bay Station and that's where Edward helped James. Wow, that is awesome. I wish mine was a bit awesome. Don't worry, I'm sure yours will be awesome. You think so, Timothy? Yeah, and you know, I got some trucks to take later from Nafford Harbor to the other part of the line. And I was also going to take some passengers from Potterton Station to Vickerstown, so you wouldn't mind taking my passengers later, right? Of course I will! Thank you, Timothy! I'll try! And I'm sure it'll be awesome! And with that, Rosie went off. I'm sure Rosie's already got it, and I don't know what else will happen. Don't worry, I'm sure Rosie's gonna do fine. And I'm sure she's already got it. I just know it. Here, Rosie was doing fine. She was doing fine after the events that happened. And Rosie was right on time, and she was doing fine. Hey, Rosie. Oh, hey, Seamer! Have things been fine from when Smudger got you back? Uh, yeah, Rosie. Things are fine. Just been taking some passengers and taking trucks from the Smudger Station quarry to the other part of the line. And also took trucks from the yards full of supplies to the Soder Steamworks. And I've been doing fine, taking passengers and taking some trucks from the other quarry to the other part of the line. Wow, that's a lot! Indeed. So, are things fine? Why are you upset? Oh, sorry, just wish things were fine from when I tried to help James. Oh, you're just wishing your day is awesome from when you tried to help James? Yeah, Steamer. Just noticed things have been difficult when I tried to help James when he crashed into Tim's sheds. Oh, I know what you meant. But I heard you did help Thomas, and I think yours was awesome. Oh, thanks, Steamer. Just knew I already got it. And don't worry, I'm sure you're doing awesome. Just keep trying, and you already got it. Thank you, Steamer, and I'll still try. Oh, sorry, that's my conductor's whistle. I have to go. I gotta get those passengers to the next station. And with that, Rosie went off. I'm sure I got this, and I will get it, and I'm doing awesome. Later, Rosie talked to Bear about it at the sheds near Potterton Station. Wow, looks like yours was fine, Rosie. It was, Bear. 
I was doing fine when I was trying to fix my mistakes, and I've been doing awesome. Wow, it looks like you're still trying. Yeah, and, and I'm still being really useful from all the stuff that happened. And Rosie noticed she was being really useful. Before Bear could say anything else, Rosie just went to sleep. Looks like she's doing fine after she tried to help James. Later, Rosie arrived at the yards. She was going to take some trucks full of stone from the yards to the other part of the line. Rosie was coupled up and she was ready. Alright, Rosie. Those trucks could try to mess with you, so don't let them mess with you. They could be troublesome. I'm sure those trucks won't mess with me. I still got this. And with that, Rosie went off. Rosie headed down the line. She was doing fine and she was right on time. But she did notice the troublesome trucks were about to make it difficult. Let's push her off the rails! Yeah, let's do it! But Rosie didn't even notice it. Later, I'll get the trucks on time! After my mistake when I try to help James, and my day will be awesome from it. Rosie didn't notice it's about to be difficult. Rosie went over Gordon's Hill. Come on, I can make it. It wasn't long until she reached the top and then it happened. On, on, faster, faster. The trucks pushed Rosie down the hill. Stop it, truck! Stop it! Rosie tried using her brakes, but the trucks were pushing her. On the other line, Harvey was moving some crates and clearing the line up near the smudger station. Then he noticed Rosie. Harvey, I couldn't stop! Use your brakes, Rosie! Stop! The line is blocked with a crate on the track. Rosie tried to stop, but she crashed into the crate and went off the rails and... Rosie was fine, but she was off the rails and she had crashed into a shed. Rosie, are you fine? Yeah, I think so, Harvey, but my cylinder broken. I'm off the rails. Don't worry, the breakdown train will be coming in. They'll put you back onto the rails and you'll be taken to the service streamers for repairs. And none of this was your fault. It was the trouble of the truck. They can be a bit troublesome. Indeed. At least I almost tried to stop. And Rosie noticed craziest thing that ever happened. Later, Rosie was put back on the rails and she was at the Soder Steamworks getting repairs. Steamer was there. He was getting his paint polished and he noticed Rosie was upset. At least you tried to stop the trucks, Rosie, and I heard you did awesome like when you tried to help James. You think so? Yeah, you did awesome, Rosie. I heard you did helped Thomas when he got stuck when you took the mail train for him and that you told him that Edward is coming to pull him out and I hurt you did awesome thanks steamer and steamer told Rosie about where smudger got him back and then after it Tim Barnett had already deal with bolster the barge and then smudger got me back when he bowed out Stanley and then Tim Barnett Drove his R500 and pushed Smudger off the rails before that thing exploded. And that thing exploded right on Stanley and Smudger had saved Duke and helped everyone. Wow, that's awesome, Steamer. And thank you for noticing. You're an awesome friend and you're really useful. Yeah, but I think you're really useful when you try to help James. You did awesome when you tried to. Even though James was the fastest red engine on Sodor. I know, he was! <laughs> it was a bit crazy, but it was a bit awesome. 
and Rosie noticed it was. Later, Rosie talked to Henry about it. Henry had heard about it and he felt sorry for Rosie. Looks like you did almost stop the trucks. And it looks like I did. And it's been a bit crazy from what happened. So, what happened? Oh, James had been taking freight trains a little bit. But he was fine. Before Henry could say anything else, James went by the point. A long freight train. I gotta admit, James, you do look splendid. Yeah, but I'd rather be pulling passengers. It looks like his was a bit crazy. Indeed, Henry, but at least his was a bit awesome, and I think it's been crazy from when I tried to stop the trucks. And Rosie noticed it was. And Rosie noticed it had made her really useful. 